What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know, that's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And it's been crazy today, but we're going to break this down like no one else can break it down. Y'all know can nobody else break down industry news and industry happenings better than your boy because I was in the industry. You can't have an industry insider if you was never in the industry. So we're going to take a listen to what Nick Cannon had to say about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Then we're going to listen to what Tasha K has to say about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Then we're going to come back and break it all down and tell Nicki you what's Minaj what. Is delayed. Nicki Minaj said she moved her album date because there was rumors going around that Lil Wayne's album with 2 Chainz was on the same date. She's moving it to her birthday. Yes. And it wasn't about Wayne. And she was like, Wayne would never do that. This is what I think. Because even with Cardi B, who also came out, she was just mad. She went off on like a troll. She was like, that's why I ain't putting out no album. I think for the culture, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B should drop on the same day. 50 Cent and Kanye West though. Let's do it for the culture. Two top queens of hip hop. And if they just went head to head, bar for bar, song for song, track for track, and let Nicki's label do what they do, let Cardi's label do what they do, it'd be the Titan versus Titan. I challenge you all. Nikki and Cardi should drop on the same thing. I think it would be amazing. I think that that's the best of the best. That's the bout everyone wants to see. That's Tyson Holyfield. That's Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny. Actually, Woody Woodpecker and Bugs Bunny. Nikki and Cardi. And I've said this to Nikki. I said I said this to her, and she didn't like it. She'll go through bouts where she'll talk to me, and she won't talk to me. I don't care because I'm I'm not starstruck like that. I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> I said, you and Cardi are the same. And she was like, what? I said, you are the same. But the difference is I, I'm giving you grace. And I hold her accountable, but you're older. Mm -mm. And the, the reason why I didn't sign the NDA that she wanted me to sign was because I said, if I sign an NDA for you, and this is before we went trial, me and Cardi, I said, if I sign this, this lifelong tight to, to death do us part, even after life NDA, I might as well not go to court with Cardi. You're you, so it's like you're y'all, they are truly the same and they, they have, they have good traits that make people excited, right? They get, they get their, their brands excited, but one who's experienced is not sharing her wisdom with someone who's young and up and coming. And I know, I know that's hard for her because of how the industry tore her down, but Nikki truly has the tools and the, the resources to help pull this young lady up. And even if she helped to pull her up, it's not going to pull Nikki the fuck down. No, nobody has a catalog like Nikki. I'm talking about character. That's why they, when you, and, and for a lot of people that don't understand, because a lot of people don't really, they, they, you surface level and that's okay. That's why there are people like me in these positions to help you to understand that it's, it's deeper than just surface level. Energy meets energy. Energy is attracted to energy. That's why negative and a positive can never exist together. It's like holding a battery, right? And you got the red and you got the black. You put it together, right? But then when energies connect, you have a positive and a positive that can connect. And you can have a negative and a negative that can connect, right? The only, the reason why these two and the reason why we are at odds, right, is because our energies are the same. They connect. That's why we're, we're tied like that. That's why the energy is so fucking like, it shuts down the internet with bullshit. But if we weren't supposed to be connected, we wouldn't be able to exist 
together. We wouldn't even be able to talk, tweet, to get it, receive it. When something is not for you, you don't receive it. Listen to what the fuck I'm saying right now. Listen to what the fuck I'm saying. The energies have to match in order for it to flow and give life and continue to grow. Ooh, girl, what the hell are you talking about? What in God's name are you talking about, Tasha K? Listen, here's the deal. Tasha K pretty much exposed the fact that through this whole entire relationship, friendship, or whatever it is that she has with Nicki Minaj, she has brought up Cardi B several times. So if you are telling Nicki Minaj that her and Cardi B is the same, you have definitely been in contact with her through this lawsuit. Now, I've heard a lot of theories about Nicki Minaj being behind, you know, why Tasha K was saying the things about uh, Cardi B that she was. A lot of people felt as though Nicki Minaj at one point was paying for Tasha K's Attorney uh, fees, because we know she allegedly did that with Jade and Batty G. So they believe she's paying for attorney fees. They believe that a lot of people believe that it was Nicki Minaj behind uh, Tasha K pulling the strings, the puppet master. Do I think that Nicki Minaj had uh, Tasha K say all these things about Cardi B? No. Do I believe that Nicki Minaj befriended Tasha K because of her uh, issues with Cardi B? Yes, because if you remember, she was not she had not friended uh, Tasha K at first. So I believe she took this and said, "Oh, she's you know she's dragging Cardi B, so let me befriend her." As far as her saying that she asked, pretty much tells Nikki about her and Cardi being so much alike and about Nikki should pull Cardi B up. And she says Nikki gets mad when I tell her this. She also gets mad when I tell her that her and Cardi is the same. So what does all this mean, Heaven? I'll tell you what it means. When I listen to this, and I couple with this with the fact that what's one of the, the things that Nicki Minaj hates the most that you say about her? The top three things that Nicki Minaj hates the most is, in that top three, is she had a ghostwriter. Whenever you say that about Nicki Minaj, she goes berserk. She hates people that imply that she has a ghostwriter. Well, that's exactly what Tasha K has done. When Tasha K did that, why didn't you didn't hear any pushback? You didn't hear any, oh, she's lying. When Tasha K came on her platform and said, oh, well, I know Nicki's got writers because I've, I've met them. I've seen the writing, the you know, the writing camps, or she has writing camps, right? I've seen, I've, I've met a lot of them, but she still writes 80% of her music. So why wasn't there any pushback from Nikki? Why wasn't there any, girl, I ain't got no writers. If someone else says that, Nikki goes, but make sure she addresses it. But she didn't address Tasha K. She didn't address her for a reason. She still follows. Not like she got mad at her and unfollowed her. She's still following Tasha K. She'll unfollow somebody in a heartbeat. She ain't messing with no more. But she keeps following Tasha K. And the NDA, what would that be for, Nikki? Why would you need Tasha K to sign an NDA? That's probably the only thing I agree with Tasha K by not signing an NDA. I wouldn't have signed it either. Anybody asked me to sign an NDA, I'm not signing an NDA for nobody unless, you know, we fucking. Like, you know, if we fucking and you want me to sign an NDA, then I'm not going to say nothing. 
Well, if I'm if you're gonna let me keep fucking you, I will definitely sign it. But other than that, if if it, if it's not some some something that no one else knows, a private issue or something like that, then there's no reason for me to sign one. So there is something that Nicki Minaj has either told Tasha K or something that Tasha K let Nicki Minaj know that she knows. And Nicki's just keeping it cute. And she doesn't want to bring anything up. Is Tasha K turning on Nicki Minaj? People was asking me. I don't believe she's turning on Nicki Minaj because I don't believe they were ever that close to begin with. I believe Nicki used her for what she could and Tasha K was using Nicki for clout. Now, as far as Nick Cannon's comments, and then I'll come back to this. Yes, Nick Cannon, I would be great for the culture to have them both drop at the same time. But in order for them to do that, they would have to be in some sort of agreement or cahoots or what have you, and I just don't see that happening. I don't see these two ever doing anything that's going to benefit the culture, you know, come into something, an agreement to do something for the culture. I, I can't see that happening. But it would be amazing if it did happen. Let them both drop at the same time, and the culture would be the one who wins. Now, back to these three. Some people see they felt as though it's a setup that Cardi B is now telling Tasha K, the only way I'll drop the lawsuit is if you talk about Nicki Minaj or drag Nicki Minaj. I think that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Because if Tasha K drags Nicki Minaj, what good does that do Cardi B? What good does she get out of that? She gets nothing out of that. That Tasha K, a person who a lot... Some most of the bobs, well, not most, a lot of the bobs don't mess with anyway. What's it really going to hurt her? Right? If, um, you know, if she if she says something about Nicki Minaj or she starts talking bad about Nicki Minaj, that's not going to stop Nicki's rollout. That's not going to make her sell any less than what she's going to sell. And it's not going to take fans from her. So that the just the mere thought that Cardi B has this all planned out and she's gonna let Tasha K off the hook if she turns on Nicki Minaj, it does nothing for Cardi B. Get that thought out your head. That's the most ridiculous thought I've ever heard of. The issue is that Tasha K made it public knowledge that her and Nicki Minaj discussed Cardi B. Now, by her saying this and then saying, I'm not signing an NDA, and then saying, you're older, you should ask, what she was actually saying is, you're older, you should be the bigger person. We're going to wait and see if Nicki unfollows Tasha K in the next few days. If she doesn't and just continues to follow her, even after her saying this, then we need to start looking for the secret uh, T that she has on Nicki Minaj's head. Because if Nicki Minaj does not unfollow Tasha K and she is still following her and not saying anything about this, that means Tasha K has some sort of information that at least for now Nicki feels as though would not benefit her if it came out. So the question I'm asking people are, do you think, my answer is yes. Do you think Nicki Minaj, I mean, uh, um, Tasha K has something on Nicki Minaj that makes her not react in ways that she would react to other people? Let me know down in the comments and let me know whether you'd like to see Nikki and Cardi B drop on the same day. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. We'll catch you on the next one.